my name is Vinod Tar again, and uh, I'm the managing director of Places Technologies. So my background is I'm a computer engineer. I graduated from Goa Engineering College, but I'm originally from Kerala. Started very small with about three or four uh, people. Fast forward to today, uh, we are about we just crossed about 575 people. So it's been a great growth story for us. We are primarily focused in three key technology areas. The first is uh, in the space of no-code development. The other uh, product uh, vertical we are in is in robotic process automation. Third area we're involved in is artificial intelligence and machine learning. So we do a lot of work on the biometric side for uh, voice-based authentication, face authentication, uh, and we also do a lot of work on the conversational AI side. We have clients like Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, Deloitte. On the retail side, we have clients like uh, Win Dixie. We actually support the Amazon Workers' Compensation Program uh, for for their uh, workers in the distribution centers. Uh, we have clients like Facebook, Nike, Exxon Mobil, 3M, Alliance Insurance. It's been a great journey and for a company that's incubated and growing out of Cochin, we are very proud of that portfolio of clients. So where we are right now is in Infopark Phase 2. Uh, we have our own campus. It's about 1.6 acres of land. Uh, our first building that we are in right now uh, is about 50,000 square feet. We have crossed 575 people on, on our hit count side and our projection is uh, by the end of 2023, we think we will cross 2,000 people. So it's it's been an exponential growth factor driven by uh, the, the demand for automation technologies catalyzed by this pandemic. We are now continuing to expand. We are going to put up a second building in Infopark, which is going to be another 50,000 square feet. And then we have, after that, we have a third building, which will be an additional 1.2 lakh square feet. Most of the Infopark team members have been very accessible to us and are very responsive to our needs. And that has been huge because you know, as a software company, the last thing you want to deal with is 25 different departments to get approvals for all kinds of things. So uh, the whole Infopark model of a single window clearance and such has been very beneficial to us. And, and I would say actually uh, is a benefit of uh, moving to Cochin or moving to Kerala. And also it's getting a lot easier to attract talent in Cochin now because a lot of people are wanting to move back home. When we first started in Infopark, we would only have uh, people from Kerala, maybe a few people from Tamil Nadu, right? Now you have people from Delhi, Bombay, Andhra, they're all here. The social demographic has also changed. Kerala is one of the few places in India where you could be uh, on the beach and an hour later you're in the mountains or by the backwaters. It's a beautiful place. We first started in our business plan, our base of operations was Bangalore and the commute time to get to the office was a minimum of one hour. Moving to Infopark, all of us were staying five minutes from the office. So the commute was really not a problem. So I would say that was one key factor. So we could get to practically any part of the world within 24 hours because of the connectivity options provided by the Cochin Airport. The cost of operations in Kerala is significantly lower than Bangalore. The cost of living in Kerala is significantly lower than any Tier 1 city. And it's going to continue to be that way. The clients that are looking for a stable operation from a captive standpoint, Kerala is a very good location for that because uh, you, there's enough of a talent pool and you can find pretty much any skill set that we want. We have a unit in uh, Infopark Chairkala as well. So we set that up as a satellite office for us. But I think this government of Kerala strategy to have a hub and spoke system makes a ton of sense. That was the exact reason why we set up our Chatfila operations. We also wanted to have a backup location if we had any issues from a connectivity standpoint. We have close to 100 people working in the Chatfila office. I think we were the first or one of the first few companies to set up shop in Chatfila. And we are expanding our operations there as well. Automation space is clearly where the future is going. So I think we are well positioned. Uh, there and because we have our own product stack uh, we control the evolution of these products to support that journey so uh, you'll probably hear a lot more about us because we have a lot of things in the pipeline uh, that are going to be very key add-ons to to the platform and the foundation that we've already built